Welcome to beautiful Bundaberg up in glorious Queensland. Finally the weather has started to cool down. Out in the sun is still pretty warm but I think we're almost at good ideal camping weather. Product that I spoke about in the past and I showed quite a number of videos on it and it's changed my way of camping enormously and that's these hexatarps here so you can see my own personal hexatarp here this is the large I've also got the medium the large is probably my preference so it all depends on what type of camping that you do etc you can purchase an optional upgrade now for for the hexatarp so let's have a closer look at these as you can see they fit perfectly inside one of the drifter bags this is the uniflame pot hanger bag so if you're after a really good pole bag i suggest this one here now there's a few differences with these poles and the first one you can see is look how thick this is so let's grab one of the, the original poles out and let's compare them the original pole bag is quite a generous size if you want to replace the original poles that come with your hexatarp, you'll be able to put these inside your original bag. So there's the difference, guys. Let's move up, compare them close side by side. They're the same length. If you notice the original, it's all made out of one piece. So you can see how the original there has been folded over. And if you look at the new one, the optional upgrade pole, it's actually a sleeve inside another sleeve now why would you consider these extra strong poles is their fitting you can see how sturdy that is there's no give there's no play in there i've noticed in the original ones there's a very slight bit of play in there and when you've got the particularly in the large tub when you've got it set up and you've got it out nice and taut to handle the strong winds or if there's a little storm coming through I notice that the poles can have a little bit of a bow in them. Now that bow is mainly caused from the play that's in this area here. So this will rectify that. And guys, these are not very expensive at all. I believe they're something under $40. So you need to confirm with that. So as the time of filming, I think they might be about $39 each, but you'll have to check with, the, with Drifter Stockton on that price. Now they're the same length as the poles you get in your large hexatarp. So the poles you get in your medium hexatarps are 2.4 meters, so a little bit shorter. These ones are the same length as your large poles that comes with your hexatarp. So on the top, you've got a screwing spigot. As you can see, I can unscrew that. You could actually screw in a camera mount in there. So if you've got like a little GoPro or something, you can actually screw in your GoPro in there and then you've got a huge big boom. So let's go set this up. We've got the, the large hexatarp all set up, ready to go. So, here they are, these are the replacement poles. Now to set up, it's exactly the same. They're 2.8 meters high, so they're the same as the original. Now what I've done here, I've done something different here, guys. For those, who, as you know, this large one, the large hexatarp, uh, really benefits when you set the extra six poles out, like I have here, particularly if the breeze is picked up. So the hexatarps, they come with the two poles, okay? So these main ones, all right? But now we've got these as an optional upgrade, which is a very good price. And I think they're a vast improvement over the original ones, because they're much tighter fit. They slide in, it's a lot tighter fit. They're much more heavy duty. So when we've got those real big strong uh, winds and storms coming through, there's less likely that anything's going to break. In fact, I'd be surprised if anything does. But I really suggest that you need to have the extra poles as well. So what I've done here is I've actually used the two original poles that come with the hexatarps. I've used them on some of the tie off points. And what I've done is I've taken out one of the sections. So that's the beauty with this system, is you can actually vary the height as well. 
So as you can see, I've taken out two sections. You can actually take out even another section. So if, you, if there's still a bit of a breeze around, a strong wind around, and you want to lower it, say, one side down, but you don't want to lower it all the way to the ground, well then just take another section out, which will bring you to about this height here. Remember, you can do the same with these poles here. You can actually take one section off one side, have one side down lower, you could even take two sections off, but why would you have it that low? I don't know, but if you want to, if you, if you want to do that, you certainly can do. And if you want the other side even higher, then you can add another section onto this, this side here, which will bring this one even higher, but then you may need longer, longer guy rot lines. So I don't think the guy lines definitely are not going to be long enough, but the potential is there. So if you've got some extra guy lines, then you can do that as well. So you can go to drifterstockton.com.au. So go to any of the Drifter Stockton four main stores, one at Slacks Creek near Brisbane, the other one at Heatherbray, which I believe is somewhere near Newcastle, another one at Gosford, which is north of Sydney, and the other one where the Drifter factory is, located at Gloucester. Do yourself a favour, check these out. I think they're a great optional upgrade. And thanks for watching, guys. So till next time, look after yourself and cheers.